Bhagat Singh, a symbol of martyrdom. British imperialism fanatically angered the entire nation. Ordinary people were performing extraordinary deeds, ready to give their lives to mobilize freedom. Hunger, unemployment, operation and the endless plunder from India forced young men and women to take up arms against the British. Thousands of people participated in the struggle to free themselves from the yoke of imperialism. Young people were eager to prove their mettle and thus was born the freedom fighter and revolutionary Sardar Bhagat Singh, who promised to serve the country. His unwavering determination stayed with him all the way to the gallows. Born in a family of freedom fighters, he learned to be careful, brave and rebellious and also gave right direction to the revolutionary movement in India. His compelling images and activities give him a legendary status that transcends all obstacles and he continued to make waves in the country. Bombs and pistols do not make a revolution. The sword of revolution is sharpened on the waiting stone of ideas. Early Life Bhagat Singh was born on 27 September 1907 in a freedom fighter's family in a village called Banga in the Lyalpur district of Western Punjab, now in Pakistan. His father, Sardar Kishan Singh, and his uncles were all revolutionaries and members of the Ghadar party. Bhagat Singh was sent to the village school in Banga and a few years later, he attended the Dayanand Anglo-Vedic school in Lahore. He was a very brilliant student at school. By the time he completed his secondary education, he knew everything about the revolutionaries in the family. Their sacrifice for the country increased his desire to become a freedom fighter. When Jallianwala Bagh massacre took place in 1919, it deeply disturbed young Bhagat Singh, who was only 12 years old at that time. He went to the site of massacre and collected the soil from the spot and kept it with him to remember the incident. He soon joined Mahatma Gandhi's non-cooperation movement. As a student, he defied the British in every possible way and burnt his school books and uniform. However, Gandhi's withdrawal of the movement and his non-violent methods disillusioned him. He joined the revolutionary movement and advocated a violent response to the atrocities of the British. Revolutionary Activities In 1923, Bhagat Singh joined the National College in Lahore founded by Lala Lajpat Rai to continue his studies. Here, he came in close contact with other revolutionaries like Bhagwati Charan and Sukhdev. To avoid an early marriage, he ran away from home and became a member of the organization Naujawan Bharat Sabha. He also joined the Hindustan Republican Association and became its leader. He converted it to Hindustan Socialist Republican Association. In 1928, he attended a meeting of revolutionaries from across India in Delhi and befriended many revolutionaries like Chandra Shekhar Azad. In 1928, a committee known as Simon Commission was created by the British government, headed by Sir John Simon, to report on the current political situation in India. The Indian politicians boycotted the commission since it did not include a single Indian on its panel. There were protests from all over the country against the commission. While protesting in Lahore, Lala Lajpat Rai, who led the protest, was badly injured in the police baton charge. He later succumbed to his injuries. Bhagat Singh, who was an eyewitness, vowed to take revenge. He hatched a plot along with his revolutionary comrades Rajguru and Sukhdev to kill the police official General Scott who was responsible for Lala Lajpat Rai's killing. However, by mistake, Bhagat Singh ended up killing a junior official named J.P. Saunders on 17 December 1928. Bhagat Singh quickly left Lahore to escape arrest. As a result of growing revolutionary activities, the British government enacted the Defence of India Act to give more powers to the police. The act, though defeated in the council, was later passed by an ordinance which claimed it to be in the interest of the public. To protest the act, the HSRA decided to bomb the Central Legislative Assembly. It was just an attempt to draw the attention of the government rather than cause injury or death to anybody. As per the plan, on 8 April 1929, 
Bhagat Singh and his associate Bakuteshwar Dutt threw the bomb in the corridors of the assembly shouting Inkalab Zindabad meaning long live the revolution and quoted arrest Shortly after Bhagat Singh's arrest for the assembly bombing the British came to know about his involvement in the murder of JP Saunders Bhagat Singh Rajguru and Sukhdev were charged with murder JP Saunders Lahore conspiracy case Bhagat Singh used the trial as a tool to publicize his cause and gave statements against the British rule He went on a 64 day hunger strike to protest against the inhuman treatment given to Indian prisoners in Lahore jail where he was kept. The hunger strike inspired a rise in public support for Singh and his colleagues from around June 1929. The trial began in Borstal jail, Lahore on 10 July 1929. Singh finally obeyed the resolution of the Congress party and his father's request ending his hunger strike on October 5, 1929. 116 days later during this period singh's popularity among ordinary indians surpassed punjab in order to speed up the slow process viceroy lord irwin declared a state of emergency on may 1 1930 and issued a decree to establish a special tribunal composed of three high court judges to hear the case In Punjab the defense committee developed a plan to appeal to the privy council Singh later agreed hoping this call would popularize HSRA in Britain the appealant alleged that the decree established by the court was invalid and the government responded that the viceroy has full powers to establish said court judge viscount dunedin dismissed the appeal after the appeal to the privy council was rejected The chairman of the Congress party Madan Mohan Malviya filed a request for leniency to Irwin on February 14, 1931 and some prisoners appealed to Mahatma Gandhi for intervention. Singh's trial was described by the Supreme Court as contrary to the basic principles of criminal jurisprudence because the defendant did not have the opportunity to defend himself. Execution Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Sukhdev were sentenced to death in the Lahore conspiracy and ordered to be hanged on March 24, 1931. The schedule was brought forward 11 hours and all three were hanged in Lahore prison at 7:30 p.m. March 23, 1931. It is reported that no local judge was willing to supervise Singh's hanging as required by law. The execution was supervised by an honorary judge who also signed three execution warrants because his original arrest warrants had expired. The press reported extensively on the executions especially as it happened on the eve of the annual convention of the Karachi Congress Party. Gandhi faced a black flag demonstration by angry youth. They called for hartles and dueling strikes. His death brought mixed emotions to the whole of India. Gandhi's followers thought he was too radical and hoped the pursuit of freedom, while his followers thought he was a martyr. Singh is still an important figure in the Indian independence movement even if it is controversial. Views and opinions. Bhagat Singh was a socialist and an admirer of communism advocated by Karl Marx. He was attracted to anarchism as well. He did not believe in Gandhi's ideology. He defended satyagraha and other forms of non-violent resistance and believed that this kind of policy would replace one group of exploiters with another group of exploiters. Historian K N Panikkar described Singh as one of the early Marxists in India. He was also enamored with Lenin. On the day his execution Bhagat Singh was reading the book Reminiscences of Lenin authored by Clara Zetkin a German Marxist when asked what his dying wish was Singh replied that he was studying Lenin's life and hoped to complete it before his death He was an atheist who witnessed the Hindu Muslim riots that broke out after Gandhi disbanded the uncooperative movement and questioned religious ideology He wrote an article entitled Why I am an atheist 
to resolve the question of whether his atheism stems from vanity. In the article, he defended his beliefs as he could not convince himself of the myths and beliefs in the minds of others and challenged the efficacy of old faith. In his pamphlet thrown to the Central Assembly on April 8, 1929, he said, It is easy to kill an individual, but it cannot stifle the mind. The great empire collapsed, but the mind survived. Conclusion Bhagat Singh remains an important figure in Indian portraits of freedom movement. Youth are still very much inspired by Singh and he remains the idol of Indian youth. Although his life was short, he had a profound influence on the Indian independence movement. His revolutionary methods have been hailed as an alternative to the non-violent methods of Gandhi. Although the methods he resorted to cannot be completely justified. He exists as a popular folk hero, a powerful symbol of bravery. He is respectfully referred to as Shaheed Bhagat Singh and is indeed a true martyr.